This video sequence is going to show uh, the treatment of dysplastic Barrett's esophagus with uh, a technology called the HALO 360. This is a radio frequency based device uh, that's mounted on a balloon. Uh, so the first obvious uh, task is to examine the esophagus. We're using white light uh, right now to examine the Barrett's esophagus. Uh, you can see that there's a cap uh, fitted on the end of the scope. Uh, this is very important, particularly when you're using uh, narrowband imaging or NBI. We've just switched to NBI now, and uh, the narrowband imaging uh, technology filters light in a way that blue light uh, is the main uh, light that's used. This highlights the blood vessels in the epithelium, and by highlighting the blood vessels, we can get a better idea of the vascular and mucosal pattern. What we're looking for uh, are areas that might be, uh, that might show high grade dysplasia. We also want to examine the esophagus to make sure that it's smooth. The radiofrequency ablation technology can only be used on Barrett's epithelium uh, that's smooth, uh, in other words, not nodular. So in looking at this segment, it's a long segment Barrett's. Uh, at the proximal edge, you can see some scarring. Uh, that's from a prior uh, endoscopic mucosal resection. We're gonna avoid that area of scarring. Now we're washing uh, the Barrett's epithelium with muca mist. Uh, columnar epithelium produces mucus. Mucus prevents adequate contact between the radiofrequency device and the mucosa. So we're using a spray catheter to spray on muca mist, essentially to dissolve uh, the thin mucus layer. We're now passing a savory guide wire. Uh, in a typical uh, technique, uh, we're passing the savory guide wire. The first thing that we did over this savory guide wire, which we don't show on the video, um, is to pass a balloon. That balloon uh, inflates to a certain uh, uh, pressure and essentially measures the diameter of the esophagus. Once we determine the diameter of the esophagus, then we tr choose a treatment balloon that is of that diameter. And we now are passing the endoscope alongside the treatment uh, balloon catheter that's been placed over the Savory guide wire. We're currently using white light, but you can see the white catheter probe adjacent to the esophagus. In a moment after we clear the area and we're pulling back on the treatment uh, balloon right now, you'll see the balloon itself. There it is. And in a moment you'll get a close-up view uh, and you'll see these uh, copper-colored rings uh, that you see right there at the uh, 2 o'clock position. Those rings are actually the area of treatment. So we put uh, energy through those rings uh, and do the spacing of the rings. Uh, and uh, the amount of energy that you put in, it produces a coagulation necrosis to a certain depth. So we've now switched to NBI. This allows me to position the, the treatment catheter just a little bit better. I can see where the mucosa is. Once we get the treatment balloon positioned properly, uh, then there are two pedals on the machine. One inflates the balloon, and right there you can see the balloon being inflated. I'm now going to aspirate all the air out of the lumen and then as soon as the machine tells me that the balloon is completely uh, inflated, I hit the treatment uh, pedal. It takes about one to one and a half seconds to deliver the energy and then the balloon is uh, deflated automatically. And you can see here now that we're entering the area that I just treated. You can see the white uh, coagulation uh, that's been produced. Uh, this is quite friable now. You'll see peeling off a little bit of the, uh, of the coagulum and that produces bleeding. Blood um, with the NBI looks uh, reddish uh, in color and that's why you see the red. So we've treated the more proximal area. Uh, now we're adjusting the balloon. We're going to pass it uh, more distally to treat the distal end. And uh, what we want to do is have just a little bit of overlap, uh, so a little bit of overlap. There in the distance you can see uh, the, the untreated Barrett's. Uh, we've now advanced the balloon. Uh, I've sucked out the air. We're inflating the balloon and then when the machine uh, tells me that the balloon is inflated, 
I'll hit the treatment pedal and again about one to one and a half seconds uh, the treatment is delivered the balloon is deflated and now we're going to look uh, and inspect the area uh, that we've necrosed so again the, the key to this technology is to ablate or necrose tissue to a very precise depth we don't want to go too deep and we don't want to go too shallow and with the tortuous esophagus with this balloon you can see there are some treatment areas or some areas I should say which did not get fully coagulated so inevitably you have to come back after a balloon treatment uh, to uh, sort of what I call um, uh, touch up uh, or spot weld uh, the areas now um, we do two treatments uh, so we have just done one treatment and now we have to remove the coagulum again I mentioned earlier that the key to this technology is to get good contact between the epithelium and the balloon and so we've uh, removed the balloon and we'll clean the balloon but now I'm using that cap to sort of scrape off the coagulum uh, once I get rid of the coagulum uh, and I've cleaned the balloon then we'll repass the balloon and we'll retreat this area so the uh, treatment algorithm that's used is to treat the Barrett's area twice uh, one pulse uh, then uh, clean and wash and then repass the balloon and treat it again so there we finished the uh, uh, the removal of the coagulum I've now switched once you've treated it once it's easier to look with white light We've repassed the clean balloon now, balloon treatment balloon, and we're just now positioning it uh, in the area where we had treated prior. Once we feel comfortable that it's in the right position, uh, we'll inflate the balloon, aspirate air, hit the treatment pedal, and recoagulate uh, that epithelium. Once we've treated it twice, uh, then we're uh, done with the treatment, uh, and we uh, send the patient home, we give them some pain medication, a solution of Maalox and lidocaine to take before they eat. We have them continue on double doses of PPI and then we see them back in three months. And there you can see the, the treated area that we just went past. Uh, it's got sort of a whitish tinge to it. That's the retreatment. Um, so again, we'll bring this patient back now in three months and we'll touch up any areas that we didn't get on the first treatment.